welcome back to the next part um, now we were discussing the dangers and the safety precautions we must take in the previous video for about uh, those alpha beta and gamma radiations but the radiations can also be helpful in many situations and they have helped us in many scientific and industrial and medical applications and we are now going to discuss those useful um, things that can be done by radiations so the first thing is that radioactive materials can be used as radioactive materials can be used as something called tracers or you can also you know think of them as a tracker and the thing about these tracers is that their movements can be tracked just like if you have a tracker or a GPS inside your car and if it gets stolen you can see where the car is going on a software or on your phone on the map uh, just like that because that GPS inside the car is emitting some form of signal now these radioactive materials are emitting alpha beta or gamma radiations so their movements can also be tracked because these radiations can be detected by you and you can see where that radioactive material is moving so the first and the best example of uh, materials being used as tracers is doing diagnosis for different organs in the body so for example one of the biggest use is doing a thyroid scan and checking the thyroid function of a human body it's a gland in the throat of humans and it's basically butterfly shaped so this gland basically produces important hormones inside our body which controls uh, our metabolism and many other functions so it's quite important for us to be healthy uh, for this thyroid to work properly now the thing about thyroid is that it absorbs iodine and we have an isotope of iodine which is iodine 123 which is uh, radioactive so the patient is basically asked to drink iodine 123 right the patient drinks it and then because iodine 123 emits gamma radiations we can now detect where that iodine is moving since that iodine will be absorbed by the thyroid so the radiations would probably be coming out of the throat the thyroid gland of the patient and those gamma radiations can be picked up by a gamma ray camera right so this person is sitting right there and the camera on top will detect those radiations and then a computer will process all of that image and make an image like this so this is the thyroid gland a butterfly shaped gland this is the left gland and this is the right gland and doctors if they look at it they would know whether the two glands have the right shape the right size and if they are performing their functions properly or not using the scan if let's say one is much bigger than the other then maybe there is a nodule or a tumor inside that needs to be taken out or that uh, and the person might need to be operated on so that is one of the things where radioactive materials are used as tracers now there are other examples of this so for example uptake of fertilizers from roots to leaves of a plant can be done so you can add the tracer the radioactive material into the uh, soil water and fertilizer and then using uh, detection techniques you can see how the roots uh, how the fertilizer is being absorbed by the plant from its roots to its leaves then the, we can also detect leaks in underground pipes by adding a tracer to the fluid or sewage or water in the pipe and we can see where uh, is the radiation coming out of if there is a crack or if there is a leak in the pipe that's where more radiation will be detected and you can assume that there is a crack in the underground pipes now because these pipes are underground you don't have to dig the whole ground in order to find where the problem is so this saves a lot of cost time and energy now with these medicinal uses of radioactivity it is important that they should have a short half-life we don't want the half-life to be too long and few hours is enough let's say for the thyroid scan example few hours is enough because if iodine 123 or the material that the patient is drinking is radioactive and it keeps decaying inside the body for many many years let's say if it has a very long half-life 
then those radiations are basically going to have a lot of side effects and maybe they will damage a lot of organs and a lot of cells and a lot of tissues inside the body. So having a sh short half-life will basically reduce the level of radiations within a day or two, but it should not also be just a few minutes. It can't be too short, right? Short, but not too short. It can't be just a few seconds or few minutes because as soon as the patient drinks it and then he's asked to lay um, under the camera, the radiation levels would have already reduced by then. So you need to have a few hours, but it can't be uh, very long, like months or years, and it can't be too short, like few minutes or few seconds. Now, what is the other use? Another use of radioactivity is te testing for cracks in metal pipes or in, uh, let's say you have a factory or a production plant where uh, something, metal sheets or metal pipes or something made out of a, a metal is being made. And X-rays, since they are electromagnetic waves just like x-rays gamma rays and x-rays are very similar and i explained that they just have different names because they come from different sources so gamma rays can also be used to produce x-ray like photographs of metals and just like you can see a fracture very easily of the bone using x-rays you can also see a crack in the metal uh, using the photographs produced by gamma rays now the reason for using gamma rays is because you just need to place the radioactive source and it will emit gamma radiations on its own whereas to produce x-rays you need a very powerful machine and a lot of energy requires a lot of electricity and it's a lot of advanced equipment expensive equipment is needed to produce those x-rays which will obviously increase the costs so gamma uh, rays are obviously if you can get your hands on a radioactive material it's they are much cheaper to use than x-rays so this is an example of a picture of a metal where you can see very uh, uh, fine details in the metal and you can also see where there is a crack or some problem with the material right now another use of radioactivity is monitoring thickness of the material and this is basically done like this as shown in the diagram let's say you suppose uh, you have a factory where you know, the rubber for the tires is being made. Now, this thickness of the tire uh, rubber has to be very precise. They can't be different uh, because then each tire will be different and there will be no s standard uh, tire size. So therefore, for a particular tire size, the thickness of the rubber should be perfect each time. So. Where, where, the, where the quality control department is they will need to ensure that each cord comes out to be of the same thickness and for that what they will do is they will have a radioactive source here which will emit beta radiations and they have a detector at the bottom which will detect those radiations now beta radiations can partly be stopped by rubber but this can the rubber is just uh, used as an example it can be a piece of metal or something other whose thickness needs to be uh, controlled so these radiations will some uh, some of them will penetrate some of them will not and the detector will uh, count give you the count rate so let's say for the correct thickness of the tire the correct count rate should be 60 so as long as the count rate is 60 you know that the thickness of the tire cord is correct but what if the what if the count becomes 70 what does that mean if the count rate has increased is the tire cord too thin or too thick well if the count rate is more that means that more beta radiations are penetrating that means that the tire cord is too thin and that's why more radiations are able to penetrate through to the detector what if the count rate reduces to 50 which was below the correct reading of 60 what does that mean that means that less radiations are now penetrating the tire cord and that means that the tire cord is too thick so if this is detected then obviously that particular sample will not be shipped and it will have to be fixed or it has to be thrown out now another use of radioactivity is for treating tumors and 
cancers and for this you use gamma rays so just like x-rays and gamma rays are used to produce images um, and the x-rays and gamma rays can also be used uh, to kill the tumors inside the human body so what is a tumor it's basically just overgrowth of living cells in the body right and if you remember we know that these radiations have the ability to kill these living cells so if we are careful and we can target our gamma radiations very precisely to the tumor inside the body then only and only those living cells which need to be killed can be killed and this basically this process is called radiotherapy so cancer patients do go through radiotherapy but it does have a very long lasting side effects and it causes a lot of weakness and other health problems in patients but at least it prevents them or it basically treats their cancer um, which is obviously great so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one